Hello, my name is Abrielle Negretti, and this is my literature and math lesson. The book I'll be using for this lesson is The Great Divide, A Mathematical Marathon by Dale Ann Dodds and illustrated by Tracy Mitchell. So first, I'm going to go over the California standards that this book will be covering. I'm going to be covering um, for multiply and divide within 100, fluently multiply and divide within 100 using strategies such as the relationship between multiplication and division. So knowing, you know, 40 divided by 5 equals 8 are properties of operations. By the end of grade 3, know from memory all products of two one-digit numbers. So I'm focusing on a lesson that would be for third grade use. And that lesson is going to be called Exploring Story Ideas with Division. And this activity and lesson is going to focus on parts of a story and thinking of interesting events to write while practicing division with possible remainders. So um, looking at this activity, I... I'm going to put students in pairs of two first and ask them to select a number between 20 and 100 for their cross-country race. So this is kind of following following the story that we just read, the great um, divide that I'll have read to them firsthand before going into this activity. And it's really just rewriting the story and having them do it themselves. So with the number of racers that they decide, I'm going to ask that they create a story map, like a flow chart, showing what barriers their racers would encounter and what numbers they get when they split apart into halves. So they can keep track of the divisions with a set of dots on their worksheet or any other way that they plan to do that. And I'll be using a flowchart such as this. So on the first line, they could say that they start with whatever number they decide, maybe 80. They start with 80 cross-country racers and they encounter a problem like knocking, going into the forest and tripping over a rock and half of them get cut off from there. So from 80, they go down to 40 racers. After 40 racers, Maybe they encounter a stoplight that makes them stop at a at a street corner and they're not allowed to continue from there. Basically, it's up to the students to decide what encounters these racers will face. So it kind of helps not only with their division um, problems, but it helps them with story thinking so that when they write their own stories, they are capable of thinking imaginatively and thinking um, creatively and thinking of things that um, they might encounter as problems for a story. So some questions to ask um, throughout this lesson would be how would you deal with the remainder of one when you have to split an odd number? So if they start with a number like 53, when they're going to be dividing, they're going to have remainders of one. And that's going to require them to think a little bit more deeply about their numbers because it's not as easy as dividing by two. Um, you can also ask what will happen to the one racer if you are dividing them. How will your race end? Will there be two people crossing the finish line or will it only be one? And was it fun coming up with your own version of the story? Just a little bit of having your own creativity to write your own story, basically. So the learning outcomes, um, students will be able to demonstrate an understanding of having even sets within the context of dividing by two. So hopefully um, I will acknowledge that at the beginning students should start with numbers that are probably divisible by two. It'll be easier. But of course, if students feel they're more advanced in these dividing problems, I'll allow them to divide um, numbers that aren't divisible by two if they can practice um, so they, that they can practice remainders. That's a little bit ahead of where the rest of the students are. But that's my lesson. Um, I hope you liked it and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.